engine that had the dark gear lube. And right away, when I took off that impeller underneath here. So if you visually see this dark ring here, this is gear lube. This is where the gear lube's escaping. And you can see that ring right here is, uh, is a, a sure tell sign that the seals underneath here need to be, need to be replaced. That was pretty quick, huh? That doesn't usually happen, but it's making me look good. There we go. And we are going to take off this cap here. O-rings, or the Woodruff key. That, that, this should be removed also, because over time, if you don't re remove a Woodruff key within you know, a certain amount of years, they really get stuck and they're soft. And when you try to take it off, you can really compromise it by cutting into the Woodruff key and then getting it stuck in the uh, in that in that little trough here. So, and you can see the black gear lube on the bottom side. And this is the oil seal cover. Always replace these if you're replacing anything. Um, it helps keep the water pressure out of there. Plus, when it starts to delaminate off the off the base, it's a good sign of needing to replace. But either way, you can actually see how dark this gear lube is, or how dark the seal is from the gear lube. And then when you see the new one put in, you'll see how it's supposed to look like. Two screws. Take those out always grease them when we're done and I usually tap these guys out get an angle and just lightly tap should move just lightly there's no forcing anything here once I get them off centered then you got a little spot where you can grab on to. I usually grab one here, put another one here, and lightly press down and lift at the same time. And you can see where that gear lube turns milky. It's a perfect example of, and usually when I'm working with twins, or if you, you know, if you have twins, the twin set up, don't hesitate. Just because one of the gear cases is doing it, don't, don't go short on the other one. Make everything all, 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 all the same. So even if that one's not leaking, I am going to change the other gear case. So we're going to do this. We're going to make everything even. I'll lay the screwdriver right on, just onto the seals. Pop up. Should be coming out right now. Once they pop out a little bit, then you can wedge them out. Oop. You want to clean the entire surface. This will make it real nice and easy to uh, to put the new seals in, and then you don't have to worry about damaging the seals. I'm even cleaning off the surface area so the oil seal cover can sit in there nice and flush. I'll use some 656 to clear it off. Eats up that salt and all the corrosion. Let's get out these dowels too because they, they come with the kit and they'll get rusted. They'll literally cause problems if you don't replace them. There's that. So these are the seals that go with the, uh, that I just, that were leaking. Those are the seals. They don't come in the kits. So you gotta buy them separately. Just cause you're doing a water pump doesn't mean that it includes anything else. There's other things to look at always. 
one of those things where, oh yeah, it's just replace the water pump, but you know, you really should take that extra step and verify everything else is good. And you see that little peak right there? That's nice and it's got a nice profile to it now. It's not flattened like the other one. So I'm, I'm, I'm inserting the seals in, all both face up with Yamaha. Um, and press down onto it. I got it partially in there. And then I'll just tap it into place. You gotta make sure that it's completely even and flat. See that? It's nice and flat on one side. And then you're gonna stack the other seal on top. You wouldn't be able to do this if there was corrosion and you didn't scrape out the corrosion. It's gonna, the seal would not fit. So the second one usually I can just push right in and because it doesn't have to go so deep. Give it a little twist, make it even. And you can see how even it sits in this little trough here. So just push down on this side a little bit more. Should be good. And always take a mental note on which way this was sitting. So I don't think the holes will line up if you didn't. So it's kind of difficult. And now I'll tap these bolts with some grease. There we go. Set that in there. that little seal cover some models will have an insert like this that go right here but this particular model didn't have it so you don't have to have this in here but this particular model did not have it so don't get confused of what these little notches are kind of throw you for a loop but just pay attention of what you take off and put back on what was there in the, when you when you're ready to reinstall so there's that and now we're going to go, with, now, now we got everything ready, now we can get into the water pump kit. 